All right, Connor. This right here is a good swing. Your hands come back. You get your foot down early. That's an outside pitch as well, and you took it the other way. There are several good little swings in this in this video. Uh, again, you know when you work on your drive swings, work on getting your hands back in a proper load. So when you load and I, when the pitcher goes back, that's when you need to start your load. You're just a little bit late, but although you're just picking your toe up and then putting it back down, it'll help you. You spread out just a little bit with your feet. Just be more selective. See, I mean, you're you're just swinging at this point. Have an idea of what what it is you're looking for. I think by this time in the session, we're like in a hitter's count, and you're not being very selective. Don't be the type of player that gets yourself out because you're too good of an athlete to, to, to just give away the advantage to the pitcher. You know, you want to take the advantage away from the pitcher. Look for a specific pitch. You see this pitch, you know it, you recognize it's middle, it's middle of the plate right there. It's middle outside. You let it go on a hitter's count. Little things like that are going to help you. But you got to start recognize the fact that, you know, you've got to be more disciplined. If you look at your feet, you know that's important, obviously. You know what we've been talking about, keeping a firm front leg. But one thing I want to talk to you about is just remember this. The more you see your left your left eye going closest to the pitcher here, if it drifts towards third base on off speed pitches, you're gonna have trouble. So you've got to make sure that your left eye does not move. Your left eye does not move towards third base. Okay? That's just a very simple fundamental. When you bring your head down into the, uh, into the, towards the strike zone, you're going to have much more success. Now this is after you got plunked in the head, and I didn't put that on here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize it was an R. It's but towards the end of this session, you really started focusing, and uh, I'm sure your head was still hurting, but did a great job of, of overcoming that. And uh, I'm proud of you for doing that, because sometimes when you get hit like that, it, it kind of rocks your world. Keep your weight towards the center of your core. Like your dad said, you know, start developing a little bit of a swagger. See the follow through with your right arm on that swing. Go back and look at this video. See how good extension you, you get. See how the extension you get with your right arm through the hitting through the ball. And uh, we'll keep working on this, buddy.